Hello everybody and welcome to another cocktail video here on the JFray Mixology YouTube channel. Now as always before I start please make sure to give the video a like, if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe and if you don't want to miss any future content do click the little bell button to enable notifications of when all my videos come up. Now I put a post on Facebook and Instagram uh, with a picture of a cocktail uh, a couple of weeks ago and I didn't really know what the name should be for it. It was a rum based cocktail, um, it had some nice sort of caramel in it as well and I couldn't, I couldn't think of a name so I did what they do on Who Wants To Be A Millionaire and I asked the audience, so I used one of my lifelines. Um, and uh, some of the responses I got, were, actually all the responses I got were really very good um, but uh, th there was one that just stood out that uh, had to win uh, so that's what I called it. So this is the Salted Caramel rum -a dum It's a cool name. It just, it's just, it's a fun, funky name, I think. So, uh, you will need three ingredients. So you will need some amaretto, some banana rum, and some salted caramel liqueur. Now I know some people are gonna go, whoa, we haven't got your homemade banana rum. Where on earth can we get it from? Now, yes, I know that's true. In fact, I'm in talks currently with all the major supermarkets and retailers about putting uh, this into production, just this amount. Uh, for all the uh, supermarkets and retailers in the country, so you know you may come you may come across some like two milliliter miniature samples of this. So you know it's it's going to be a breakthrough, I think. Yeah. If you don't have uh, any banana rum or you know banana flavored rum, then I would suggest just picking up uh, some spiced rum or just some dark rum and just adding a little bit of banana liqueur uh, to it. Just you know, to, to make that uh, nice banana rum flavour. So, for this you will need 50 millilitres of banana rum. Now I would suggest if you're using rum and banana, i.e. rum and banana liqueur, to use the same amount of rum and then, you know, a bit of banana liqueur, liqueur to taste, because they all taste a little bit different. Some of them are sweeter, some of them are more banana-y. Um, but, definitely add 50 millilitres of your rum. So this is what I'm going to do, 50 millilitres of this, which you spill and go everywhere, that went well. And you're going to need 25 millilitres of amaretto. In that light so. And then 25 millilitres of salted caramel. Liqueur. In that, like so. Now, some of you may remember on the social media post that I actually added a little bit of Bailey's to this as well, but I'm not going to this time. Um, just today and on this occasion, I feel like a slightly thinner consistency, but by all means, add a little dash of Bailey's, I'd say 25 ml um, of, of Bailey's just to, you know, if you want a slightly thicker, richer consistency um, to that. So after we've done that, we're going to grab our ice and then shake. And once we've done that, we can put our top on our shaker and then shake for about 12 to 15 seconds. Now, before I serve this, uh, I just want to make you aware of tomorrow, uh, I'm going to be doing a Facebook Live at 4pm uh, for about an hour, um, and uh, I'll be talking about various topics about cocktails, spirits, garnishes, syrups, you know, the whole caboodle. Um, and it also gives you a chance to ask any questions about what I might recommend or sort of my favourite spirits and mixes and stuff like that. So do pop along. Um, as I say, I'll be on the Facebook page. I'll put a little bit more information on there um, in due course. Um, but do pop along. It'd be lovely to see you. So once we've shaken our cocktail, we can strain into our chilled cocktail glass. And there we have the salted caramel ramadan. Cheers.